Hi, good afternoon. What's occurring? As the other half would say. Oi! Right. You say it, we say it. I don't say it, man. We do say it. Anyway, hang on anyway. You carry on by there, fiddling. Get my tea ready. Um, so, tea? It's a glass of wine. Yes, you know, she's on a glass of wine already, Friday afternoon. And I've got a cup of coffee, because I'm a good boy. Yes, we're not away this weekend. So, I thought, we've got bits of admin to do. So, I thought I'd take this time to repair our dodgy electric cable. I don't know if you remember a couple of weeks ago we are up in Puth Call and our extension failed so I think now it's the time to repair it. So I'll just show you how to test and then hopefully repair. Cheers! Oh! What's occurring? Right so this is the culprit. And what is this, Rian? It's um. It's our of... short one, isn't it? It's Not the, the long one. one. The yeah, short it's one. The short one. Our short one doesn't work. So, how do we test this? What you will need is a multimeter. Bing! Just like that. Um, different various uh, settings on these for voltage, current resistance etc but all we need on this test is onto the continuity which means that when I touch the leads together you get a beep which means that the lead reads from one side to the other simples so now what I need to do is just check the continuity of the leads which means each pin on your plug or socket is connected because I think we might find a problem here. So now my glamorous assistant as you can see don't show me I have got makeup on <laughs> that yeah that's what I had so now we'll put the meat down there and as I say you can when it's okay you can hear so here now start with the earth which is always the biggest connection there you can hear so that now means that this test meter sends a little signal down little voltage down back to that one and then it reads it so it's all okay we'll check now the next one that is okay as well and then the next we have nothing so we have a break in the cable of this one of this leg there that's okay the earth is okay I'm checking that just for safety reasons it doesn't matter that could break and the, you'd still have electric but you wouldn't have a good safety circuit and then it's the other one there so we have no connection through there so that leads that's I, interesting that it's from that one to that one. Yeah. So the nearest side. The nearest side there will be the further side there. Oh, I didn't. Wouldn't have said that. Because when it goes in, see that side then flips across and goes into that one, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah. Well, I might not be. I yeah. I asked the question. Perhaps somebody else would have thought the same. <laughs> so, what we need to do now? So we know we've got a broken cable somewhere. It's either in the lead itself. Hopefully not. Or it'll be on the plug or the socket end. Um, and I am going to go socket end first. Because I'm that type of guy. So now then, and I, as you can see, you know yourself that these uh, sockets, they come with a flip lid. Stop water ingress. I've put a little bit of Velcro around it to keep it open so I could uh, do the testing. So now I'll take that off. And the lid will pop shut again so now it's a matter of stripping open this socket here and uh, hopefully we will find what is causing this lead not to work I thought I'd better do it now it's been a few weeks you know you get you as blokes yeah don't keep on don't, don't have to remind me every six months so we'll have a little look and everything looks fine there so we go on to the plug side and hopefully be here then and if not 
there's a break in the cable somewhere which would be the worst case scenario but we can still find out that we can still trace that and cut out the bad bit say I've been in the whole lead oh and look at that culprit straight away can you see that that there is loose so that I'm burnt can you see in there the actual the actual connection is all burnt up so this plug is no good whatsoever you could put it back in there but there's been burning there'll be it can cause a high resistance on the connection which in turn can cause a fire or anything like that but for a couple of quid be safe new plug will have to go on so but that is the problem at least we find the problem so now i'll go and see if i've got a spare plug and i'll get back to you well hello i'm back and yes i did have a plug a spare plug in the garage um just to show you here this is the old cable which i cut off and if you look where that loose connection was on the live wire look at that this is what a loose connection can do it just heats up and you can see all the burning on that brown cable there and this is where buying cheap cables or not checking the connection should be checked now and again because it can cause fire and be fatal in the worst case scenario scenario but there we are, we seem to have found a problem. Yeah, so I've got my new plug on, ready. Um, always make sure you put the end bits on first, nothing wrong connecting it up and finding it's... You've got to take it all off to put the end bloody piece on. Right, so here we have the con new plug connections. I've already stripped the cable. As you can see, a little tip for you, if you're ever doing it, or competent enough to do it. Um, always leave the earth cable a little bit longer so if the cable does get yanked by accident the earth cable will be the last cable that's connected because the earth cable is basically your lifeline in case of a short circuit or other failures so just a little tip which my dad gave me many moons ago so we'll just connect this up now the big pin is always the earth so and on the back it will be marked in the plug on a plug live is always left live left ll but on the socket is right but if you just remember on the actual plug live is left it's vice versa on the socket okay so i'll connect this up right so as i say left is live in she goes make sure you've got a nice tight connection Neutral, whatever you put cables in as well, give them a twist so they're nice and secure. It will stop the actual screw cutting, or help to stop the screw cutting through the copper cores as you tighten it down. And that's another little failure we see sometimes is when someone tightens down the screw so much it just cuts through the copper wiring, or the copper cores, I should say, and then creates. A loose connection or even limits the amount of current that the cable can carry so the last one in there now is our earth connection as I say longer than the rest for safety reasons people do say it doesn't matter which way you connect them but it does live and neutral I know it's alternate alternating current but the thing is if you it all your appliances will work if you if you mix up the live and neutral but some appliances you switch in on the neutral side which means the whole appliance stays live when you turn it off so that's it and when you put these back together all this on the socket tops there's a little pin a locating uh, notch as such or peg and that lines up with your earth connection so just slot that in, uh, screw the uh, tightly door up, the D, and 
this is a, a better quality socket, a better quality plug than the other one which came on the cable. So, uh, Menekes is a main, is a make, good quality kit. So there, there we have the little grommet, tensioning grommet, or securing grommet, whichever you want to say. And then the end of this type, this type of plug, the end just screws down. Happy days, and that then secured. So now we need to test, make sure we've got continuity between all the three cores. So where's my lovely assistant? Sleeping up the front, I think she's there. No, oh look, on the phone for a change. Hey, go, where are you? Rian, she wow. totally ignores me. As soon as my mouth speaks, what her ears go now? quiet. Yes, I'd like you to come and hold these. Be my little assistant. It's not okay, too much okay. trouble. Oh, interfering with my <laughs> mind now. Yes, so as I say, test me to test time now. Test the lead. Show brilliant I am. Hello, Rian. Say, it won't work, it won't work. So, meter, test meter again, onto the continuity, which gives you the beeping sound. Check your leads. All okay. So now what I need to do is just check pin for pin. So it's the earth, the big earth. We'll check that one first and we'll see. And hopefully we'll hear all the beeps and all three this time. So, bang! Ah, you idiot! What, man? Oh, you flipping fool! <laughs> what? Come That's on. not funny at it's all. It's only a bit of fun, isn't it? Come oh. on. Right, so as I say, <laughs> get there all the time, innit? Huh? You swine! What? I'm spilled your wine over it. No, oh, it's up there, luckily. <laughs> right, so there's your earth. Don't do that again now. I'm not playing this game anymore. Yes. So there's your earth connection. And live and neutral. There, so now we have a working cable. We can't test at present because we're not on hookup, but I can guarantee it works. What I, what I will say, I am qualified to be carrying out repairs and things like that, yes. I am an electrical engineer. Uh, I don't condone people potching. Um, if you're not competent, leave it to someone who is. And definitely don't mess around with the main supply, the 230 volt supply. Because that can be fatal. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed my little repair. And I have, because it saved me a few bob getting a new lead. So, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy. She normally does all this rubbish bit now, doesn't she? Like, subscribe, click the notification thing. I yeah. just say, uh, see you the next time. All the best. Ta ra. Yes, yeah, see you soon. See you now in a minute. She's got all the last word, isn't she? Oh, what's occurring?